me KC and I'm back in my kitchen with my teacher, the one and only Chef Marconi. Okay, what are we cooking today, Casey? It'll be a filet mignon in green peppercorn sauce what? with fondant potatoes, fondant carrots, and toasted toma tomatoes. What sort of beef have we got here? We got uh, a new uh, Australia, uh, Australia, four hundred years grain fred. 400 years grain fred. 400 years? <laughs> 400 years. <laughs> okay, start again. So, Casey, what have we got here? So, this is our Wagyu beef from Australia, and it's 400 days grain fred wow a marble score of four to five this is a beautiful piece of meat so why can you give some like example like caution of using ito using a what the ito knife what's like, an ito knife this chopper a chopper yeah be very careful with your fingers very careful with your finger and thumb Look. And you're using a chopper. I've seen somebody chop the finger off and it's not, not very nice. So especially with children, safety first, always. So this menu, we have to use the oven. The oven has to be 180 degrees and plus. So we just want some colour on the fondant potatoes, fondant carrots and tomatoes. This Can you answer my question? This is what I like to do with this dish. I like roast vegetables. I'm going to pop this in the oven. At maximum around 200 degrees for about 20 minutes. So we prepare the peppercorns for our pepper steak. We got beautiful green peppercorns. It's going to give it a good flavour. Bombay! Woo! Red wine. I need a good tomato paste cup. Team, team of society, prawn basement, gun, gahunilahab. So we just want a bit of the tomato paste to cook down a bit. Then we add the stock. This stock we, I, I kill every single day. This is one week old and I put it on the stove every single day to make so it. Add the chicken stock to the vegetables. It smells really good. So. And we go back in the oven. Why do you have to add chicken stock? Okay, as mentioned earlier, it's going to absorb into the vegetable, give a lovely flavour. Stock it goes in. Whoa, look at that beef stock. Really thick. Yeah, lovely. This okay, these are going in the oven, ready for the steak dish. So that's going to cook down for around 15 20 minutes, and we'll have a beautiful sauce. Then what are we going to do? Well, we're going to wait until these are cooked down. And then we're going to cook off our steak. So we're going to make the sauce. Pepper sauce, huh? I think my tomatoes are looking good. Wow, they look good. We put some flour or salt under the handle. So that everybody in the kitchen know this is a hot pan, don't touch it. It's a little tip and technique we use in the kitchens. We're going to crush up the green peppercorns. And in the crop, the green peppercorns goes. Crop. Okay. Okay, let's flame it up. There we go. I'm going to add a little bit of this stock. Red wine. Yeah, a, little, a splash of red wine. I think it's already pretty good. Okay. That's not a splash. In. A couple of spoons of stock. Put that cook down. You're gonna start cooking the steak? Yes, chef. So we want to pat the steak so there's no water remaining in it. Because we're using oil so it can sizzle and it, it will create like a like fire and a flambe and everything you go. So I'm going to add a little bit of cream to this sauce, whipping cream. <gasps> the colours had changed. 
Yeah. You, when you place a stake, you get it away from you. So just away from you because oh, so oil will be coming to your face. We just want to get a nice crust. We don't want to, we don't want to worry about anything about the steak. We just want to get a nice crust on it. Is there any techniques? Yeah, you want to get a nice crust on like that on the steak. We'll sear it from the outside. And then we're going to put in some herbs, some garlic. And butter. Turn down the heat. Okay, Casey. They need me. No. Rosemary, thyme, look up. Uh, green peppercorns and a garnish. Oh, wow. Look at me garlic. Look. Garlic. Got here, my hub. Guys, look up. Yes. So we need to let it rest for about five minutes, five to ten minutes. Into the sauce now. We're going to put some cold butter into the sauce. And we're going to just gently shake the pan to incorporate the cold butter. And you will see the sauce turn shiny and creamy. It will separate. So this is an important technique. We're going to put some sauce over our steak already. I want to rest the carrots on top. This menu is Casey Pepper Steak. So in here there is roasted tomatoes, fondue potatoes, fondue carrots, a steak and my signature green peppercorn sauce. Let's give it a try. Mm. <clears throat> Looking forward to this beef. See you guys Bye. next time. Bye bye. Where, where are you going? I don't know. That's it.